All right, folks. So what we have here is a new wallet, a new to me wallet from Maxpedition. It is the Encore RFID blocking wallet. So uh, let's get this thing open and uh, and go through it. But before we do that, why don't you go grab yourself a cold one? Come on back, and then we'll go ahead and get started. All right. So hopefully everybody made it back. Let's go ahead and uh, get this baby open. Now, I've been using the Maxpedition CMC wallet, and uh, I had a couple issues with it. I'm pretty picky when it comes to wallets. I, I have been hunting for something that will uh, be perfect for me. Maxpedition comes in these plastic bags, if you don't know that. And um, I saw this a while ago, and I didn't order it because I didn't think it would be big enough. And uh, now, when I went to look it up, this Encore, let's see if we can get a zoom in on this, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> this Encore RF blocking wallet has been discontinued, but you can still find these. There's still places, stores, shops, online. I got this off of Amazon, and it was relatively cheap. I want to say it was about 15 bucks. And uh, for me, one of the things that I want to have in a wallet is these card pouches need to face in, not this direction because stuff can fall out of your wallet, or not either direction like this because when you get your wallet out, stuff can fall out, and I've had it happen. So I'm pretty picky when it comes to wallets, and I, and I understand that. Here's a little slot for your ID, which is pretty handy, so you can just show it to anybody if they need to see it. And then another thing for me is that I need to have a deep pocket here that uh, will hold cash, you know, currency, as well as uh, receipts and papers and stuff like that. And so this looks like it's going to fit the bill. It's going to be a small, flat, lightweight wallet. Let's go ahead and take these tags off so we can get a better look at it. <clears throat> as you can see, I'm pretty careful with stuff like that. Um, and take a look at this wallet. This is their khaki color, and it's made out of the thousand denier Cordera nylon, uh, like all Maxpedition gear. And then uh, somewhere around here is the card that talks about it uh, being Teflon coated. And then I believe it's also got a water protectant on, and grime resistor on there as well, uh, triple coated. So, so Maxpedition gear is, is sturdy. It's rugged. It's well stitched. Uh, it's put it's put together great. I, I have tons of their gear. Never had any problems with it. Looked for an opportunity to get a new wallet. This one looks like it's going to meet my needs. Uh, I'm sure it will be seen in future EDC videos. I just want to do a quick show and tell and, and say, hey, look, look at me, everybody. I got a new wallet. So anyhow, that's it. I'm sure it will be more in the future. Thanks, everybody.